Welcome back to the MyPro Golfer channel. Jeremy Franks coming to you here from the bag drop at Queen Sound Harbor. Today we're going to take you through a few tips on getting started with golf and what the etiquette is of pulling up to a bag drop or not. And we'll talk about both those factors. Number one, most golf clubs are going to want you to pull up because they've got a system in place. If you've made a tee time already, they're going to want to have you kind of show up and, and be welcomed at the, at the bag drop today. There's nobody here. It's later in the afternoon. That's pretty typical. A lot of places don't even have a bag drop where they have people and staff watching it, so it may not even be an option, but I'm going to take you through two different scenarios. Okay. All right, we've pulled the clubs out of the car. We've got everything that we need for the day for the round of golf. There's possible person here and they may want to pull it out for you. It's pretty customary for somebody at a higher end club or a golf club or a golf course for them to come and ask you if what you're doing for the day. So they're gonna to wanna to help you with the bag. It, if they help you with the bag and you feel like they did a good job for you and you, they made you feel welcome, give them a couple of dollars. It's just, it goes a long way for the people working the bag drop. They love the tips uh, and it's just, a, it's just a good courteous thing to do. If there's nobody here, it's okay if the golf carts are staged here for you to go ahead and put your clubs on the golf cart. That cart is there for you, it's designed for you. The idea of you getting started with golf is for you to just make sure you have an enjoyable round. And don't take it all too serious. These are just two scenarios in which starting golf uh, may be something you could think about when you're coming out to play. So nobody's come out and helped us with the golf bag, which is totally fine. Some places are gonna have that, some places aren't. I've set the bag on the driver's side. So you got the driver's side here on the back, and then it's just a simple strap system. You want to stick it right in the top of your golf bag. Remember, in your, your tips of things how to start golf on a budget, we want you to get a golf bag. It's one of the essentials. And then just stick it right in that little system, pull it in pretty tight, lock it, and you're good to go. And remember, when you're starting golf, this may be a little bit overwhelming. This is why we're doing these videos. It's okay. Like, they know what they're doing out here. You're going to get it really figured out. Most golf courses have GPS in the carts now. They kind of talk you through where to go. Take all the pressure off and just know that it's just a day of fun. One of the things that might be great for you to start out is come and play at a time like this. There's not a lot of golfers out here right now. It's pretty quiet. You could talk to the local course or pro and say, hey, I'm just trying to get into golf. I'd like to play like four holes. Is there a rate you can make for me? And that should take all the pressure off of you having to make it nine holes, having to play fast, having to keep the course, uh, you know, the course conditions up and running, and then how fast you're playing, whether you're slowing people up or not. If you play late in the evening, just to get started, it'll take a lot of that pressure off. All right, guys, I was hoping this was helpful for you, just a little bag drop etiquette. I hope you get to use this knowledge and get into golf. We really want you to start, and make sure that you comment below if you need any help. So subscribe, like, Comment below, we're gonna get you on the golf course this year.